Hey, welcome back to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic. In my last video, I repaired this washing machine, which was having an issue with the lid lock light just sitting there and flashing. You couldn't start a cycle, and you couldn't put it in to diagnostic mode. All it would do is just flash. And what I did was I ended up having to replace the control board. Now, the control board is a fairly expensive part. It can run north of $100. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually repair the issue on the control board and solve the issue that way as well, which is a much cheaper repair. So if you find this video to be helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos. All right, so the first thing I do when I'm attempting any sort of board level repair after getting a nice diet soda is opening it up and seeing and inspecting it for burn marks. Yeah, I usually look for any sort of burn marks or bulging capacitors. Um, especially on the underside over here. Nothing seems too apparent. And then the second thing I check for, and this is probably the most important thing, is I use my ESR meter, an equivalent series resistance meter, to check the capacitors for any, any excess of ESR buildup. Now if you want more details on how to use this meter, I have an entire video dedicated to that and I'll link that in the description of this one. Um, but if, honestly, if you're having this issue and you don't even need this meter, you just gotta um, pretty much see what I do and, and most likely I will, your issue will be resolved by um, the same component I'm gonna end up replacing most likely. Because uh, same, a lot of the times these boards, you know, it's usually one capacitor or one relay that's malfunctioning that's causing these issues, and it's usually systematic. Like it'll happen across um, a lot of those washers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and test all these capacitors using um, my ESR meter here. So that capacitor give me point not it's 22 microfarad so that's okay that's also okay So that's kind of funky right there. I think we may have found our culprit. Um, this capacitor right here, when I put my ESR meter on it right here, this 1000 microfarad 6.3 volt capacitor, it gave an ESR of 0.8 ohms, which is way into the red area right here, which would make me suspect that it's bad. Um, now that I actually look at it, it looks like it's got a little bit of a bulge on top too. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe it's, but I'm definitely going to unsolder this and uh, see if I can't find a replacement. Put it back on there and uh, uh, see if that fixes our issue of that li um, lid lock light just continued to blink. I'm gonna see if I have that one um, with me. I'll also go ahead and test these two as well, see if they're at, acting funny. Um, but yeah, before I go and do anything with the relays, I'm gonna replace that and see if that solves the issue. I think it might, because the resistance on um, the ESR on this capacitor was um, very large. I'm just gonna test these two and see if they're okay. Then we're gonna desolder the other one.
resistance ESR and the other one is reading really high resistance. So I suspect that it's this capacitor right here on the board. If you're curious to see which one it is, if you have the same machine, C182, so capacitor 182. And then the last one I got to test is this one right here. Point one, that's a low 220 uh, microfarad, so that's good. So yeah, it looks like it's just that one. Yeah, so that one's good. It's just this one right here that's kind of really high right there. It's point 0.7, that's way in the red right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and desolder that and see if we can't slap in a new capacitor and solve the issue. I'm definitely not an expert at soldering and unsoldering or desoldering, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, first de unsolder it by heating up the sol uh, solder, uh, the solder joint right here and then kind of sticking the wick, which is called solder wick right here. And as I heat it up, it should just kind of suck it up the solder. And I'm going to do that for both of them. It should be able to pull it out. Uh, we'll see. So I did get it off eventually, like anything else, practice makes perfect. And I am by no means an expert on unsoldering components from boards, but I did get it off and I didn't burn up the soldering pads too much and should be able to get the new one on there. But with electrolytic capacitors, you do need to make sure you keep track of polarity. So the negative right here, oops, goes to the negative on the board right there and we'll make sure we Keep track of that when we install the replacement one. All right, so I got the replacement capacitor right here. I got like six of them for $6, which is a little bit overpriced, um, but you can find these on all sorts of stores online for much less than that, but I didn't want to wait for a long time, so Amazon Prime had them here in a day. But even for $6, uh, that's nothing compared to having to replace the entire control board. And yeah, so it's uh, pretty much the exact same size. Uh, if you want to, you do have to take care to note the polarity. So this is the negative side, and the other side is the positive leg. And pretty much we're going to uh, put this into place. The negative goes there. We're going to push this through and uh, solder it in, then cut off the excess um, prongs. So it should be a fairly smooth process, and we'll see if that fixes our issue. And I'll link the um, the products, uh, the capacitors in the description of this video, just in case if you want the Amazon ones. There we go. The negative is on the negative side. So it's in there, I clipped off the excess, not the most perfect soldering job, but I think it'll do and uh, we'll find out. So basically what was happening was this washing machine was just um, sitting there with the lid lock light flashing and I ended up replacing the control board and it was fine. Uh, I'm going to cut to a clip of that um, issue. Uh, next so just so you if you didn't watch the first video you know what I'm talking about so basically as soon as I plug the washer into the outlet this lid lock light turns on and it just blinks you can't start the washer nor can you go into any sort of diagnostic mode so let's figure out how to fix that all right so basically that was the issue it's just sitting there flashing the light so I'm gonna go ahead and slap this um, uh, repaired circuit board on there and see if that did the trick. All right, so far it's plugged in and no lights are blinking. So that's so far so good. 
Um, so let's go ahead and proceed to the next stage of starting a cycle. And just to prove the point, it completed the cycle beautifully. I'm gonna close done. I'm gonna pull this off, and we are in the off stage. And that should be how it should be when it's plugged in. It definitely should not be blinking with the LED light. All right, that's it. So the washing machine went through that particular cycle um, really well. It worked well, but I'm still a little bit hesitant to. Um, say that this is a completely reliable repair mostly because I fear that um, when I was unsoldering and uh, resoldering the capacitors it's pretty easy to damage components that are next to them by overheating them or damage some of the electrical traces on the board itself but once you perfect that um, perhaps this this could be more of a reliable repair um, for now I'm just probably going to use that board that's in there just for um, testing purposes but yeah hopefully you found this video to be helpful and uh, hopefully it shows you that there are alternatives to just replacing parts so if you found this video to be helpful make sure you hit the thumbs up sign